Hello everyone and welcome to another video of making a compiler. Um, in the previous video we made it possible to access um, the values inside of argvs or in array. We can access array elements now so if we do argv0 uh, uh, let's also create a new line and we do uh, Oh, uh, and we do a uh, uh, like that. It's actually printing the first argument, which is the binary or the program name. If we do a one instead, uh, it's going to print whatever we put afterwards. Uh, today, we're going to make it possible to call custom functions. We can define custom functions. We can do something like this. Um, do something is equal to, uh, I don't know, uh, int turn one. And if we call do something and we compile this, we're getting an error because it always expects arguments. So if I were to do x and no, oh. No. Token white pattern. Do something is equal to. Um, what? Hello is equal to. X and return one. What? Oh, I see. Um, now we have to pass something in here as well. So if we do hello is equal to x int int return one, and we do five or something. I don't know. Then it compiles, um, but it's actually never going to call our hello function here. Uh, well, first of all, we have some problems. We don't want these. We want these to be optional. So let's fix that first, I guess. Um, so when we parse, let's do the call. Or actually, let's do function first. Parse compound. Parser. Uh, uh, uh. Token right parent. Right. So this should be, we should only do this if, if not parser token type is equal to token is equal to 
this. Then we want to do this. Okay. And that seems to have solved it. Cool. Yeah, that's all the problem. So now we don't need to pass anything into there, but it's still never going to call our function. And the way we would fix this is to go inside of the call here in the assembly front end. Because we're only doing returns right now. Um, and if it's not a return, because returns are like special, special edge case scenarios. Uh, so if it's not a return, we're going to do this. And here we actually want to, we want to push all of the arguments into that function. Um, but right now, I'm going to refactor how we do, um, how we call functions later because we have some weird thing going on in the uh, print function here that we can actually do in a more reusable way uh, so that we can do this for all uh, function calls instead. Um, but for now, we're just going to, it's not going to be possible to pass in arguments to your own functions. We're going to implement that later once I have refactored this print thing. So for now, we're not going to be able to pass in any arguments. So actually this template will just be um, a call to the name of the function. So we're going to do this T name. that is all there is to it. No. Undefined reference to do something. Oh, we're calling do something. Uh, let's do hello instead. And I think we should be calling hello now. Yes, we're calling hello. I wonder why we're pushing one though. Oh, it's because we're calling this one here. Anyway, so we can call our own function now, but obviously it's not doing anything. So what if we do print, this is from hello. Will it call our function? And it works, cool. So now we can call our own functions. And I guess we can do it multiple times as well. Yeah. So that works. So now we can call our own functions. And we're also go right now we cannot pass any arguments to it. So if I were to do int uh, um, x int and we would print x, it's not going to know what to do with that actually. As you can see. So our hello function is is actually calling it's calling the uh, print method, but it's not really printing any appro anything appropriate. Um, 
printing zero ESP, which I don't know if we were to do y int and we were to print. Why? I just I'm just curious to what the assembly will look like here. So hello, still pushing zero. So we cannot uh, we cannot uh, throw in our own arguments to the functions yet, um, but we can call our own functions. So the way we would make it possible to pass in our own arguments is before the call. We need to uh, push all of the arguments, basically. So I'm going to need to create some kind of abstraction for that and do it here. And we're actually sort of already doing that thing here. But, um, but we, uh, need, uh, we need to abstract this away somehow so that um, so that we can do it elsewhere. Also now when I think about it, I'm not too sure I want to uh, have assembly front end inside of this uh, function pointer here. Seems kind of weird. So yeah, I'm gonna have to think about how I want to refactor this and do that in another video. But yeah, this was a pretty short video, but at least we got this working. We can call our own functions now. So yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.